Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of NASDAQ Spotlight Live here in Orlando, Florida at the Microsoft Ignite Conference. I'm your host, Anna Gonzalez, and we're continuing our conversations from the conference here with Ashish Shah, VP of Product Management at Avi Networks. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Anna, for the opportunity. Thank you. So uh, tell us a little bit about Avi Networks. Sure. So the Avi Networks is an application services business that includes load balancing, application security, such as application firewall, and um, service mesh for containers. It's about a four to five billion dollar market, and it's growing actually rapidly given the innovations happening in service mesh. One way to think about that is when businesses deploy their applications in data center, let's say mobile banking app or e-commerce application, you have multiple instances of those applications deployed for availability and performance. The load balancer sits in front, handles the traffic, makes sure it's secure, there's no attack that's built in, and then sends it to the most optimal server for load balancing. That's what a load balancer does, right? Talking about Avi now, Avi has built a next generation multi-cloud load balancer. It's a software-only solution that uh, works on-prem, bare metal, VMs, containers, and in cloud, AWS, Azure, um, GCP and others. Um, what's differentiated is it's a, it's a distributed architecture with a centralized controller, API driven, fully automated, with al analytics built in. And finally about, about myself, I, I run product management and technical marketing at Avi. And when I'm not doing product management and roadmap and strategy, I'm talking to customers and that's where I'm here, to learn from them, to see what problems they have, and then um, and help solve those problems. What a fascinating job that you have. Um, tell me a little bit about, is there a project in particular that you're working on that you're uh, most excited about? Oh, definitely. In fact, uh, we've been engaged with a large mobile ad tech company on their Azure migration project. And um, as these enterprises migrate their workloads from on-prem to, let's say, Azure, what's critical is that their SLAs have to be maintained. Their applications are deployed on-prem. They're working fine. When they go to Azure, they won't have the same level of performance and capabilities and features. Not always the cloud tools have the same capabilities. So they want to look for a tool that is full featured, but also has the cloud native capabilities, right? And that's where Avi Networks comes in, where it's a truly cloud native solution for, for these enterprise customers. So working with the, this customer, just like we've done with large customers like Adobe, in terms of their Azure migration. So I think that's what I'm most excited about right now. And is that what brings you to the conference and how you partner with uh, Microsoft? That, that's right, right? Yeah. So what brings me to the conference is really um, talking to our customers, talking to our prospects, understanding um, what challenges they have and how Avi can help them solve. Um, and yes, that's how we are partnering with Microsoft. So for example, um, there are two actually, two different things that we do with Microsoft. One is on joint customer engagement, and second is on joint solution development. So let, let me tell you about the first one. Um, Avi has been working with Microsoft at large customers, and specific example I can share with you is Adobe. Adobe is Azure's one of the largest customers. And late last year, they did a transition to Azure. And they publicly acknowledged that Avi was very critical in their success in that transition with our features, with our capabilities, with our performance and analytics. And we've done that with other customers, including this mobile ad tech company that I talked about. The second part is joint solution development. Just this morning, we announced uh, a solution for um, uh, Azure uh, DNS private zones. Uh, that solution from Microsoft is in public uh, preview right now. It's available uh, by end of the year. But what Avi has done, working with the Microsoft uh, product management team, is uh, integrated our GSLB solution, our global load balancing solution, with their DNS solution to accelerate, again, migration of the customers for on-prem to hybrid cloud and then Azure, right? So joint customer engagement and joint solution development. You get to speak with so many different customers, it sounds like. So can you tell us a little bit about some of the trends that you're seeing or common themes that are um, happening right now in the uh, industry? Definitely, and, and the good thing about the tech industry is that it's always evolving, right? Yes. It's always changing, right? Yeah. But there are three three trends that I'm really excited about, right? Multi-cloud, um, application, application, applications, and um, microservices and service mesh. Let me talk about three in a little bit of detail. So public cloud became reality a few years ago, right? But today, what's reality is multi-cloud. What does that mean? Over 90% of the enterprises will deploy their applications in more than one cloud. Some clouds are more optimal for security reasons or more for performance reasons or application optimization reasons. So we have customers deployed on-prem, let's say with Azure Stack or other environment. We have customers in Azure. We have customers in other um, uh, cloud. And typically, customers like Adobe, for example, will be in multiple clouds. So 
what's important as it applies to infrastructure and application services is that your solutions have to be truly multi-cloud. Right? There has to work for operational consistency reasons and for feature consistency reasons, it should work in all clouds the same way. So that's one. And that's what we are excited about partnering with Microsoft as well because our load balance is truly multi-cloud. Second applications. Apps have always been more important. But I think it has gone to the next level. And what I mean by that is developers are expecting your infrastructure to work at the same speed as applications, right? Have you heard of the uh, term called infrastructure as code, right? Which means as I deploy my code, I want to deploy my infrastructure, my network, my load balance, my firewalls, and so on. To do that, you need to have an API first architecture, right? Um, you need to make sure your products are designed in a way that can be deployed quickly, fully automated. And again, we're very excited about our solution there uh, with, with, with our API first architecture. The third, a more emerging trend, is how applications are developed. Um, gone are the days where you develop monolithic apps. Almost all modern apps are developed with uh, a microservices architecture. You develop, you de develop small instances of applications or services, and then they work over the network. As a result, you have more uh, workload on the network, and, and the solution for that is called service mesh where all these microservices talk to each other. We have been working with a couple of uh, large financial services customers in production deployment, and there's a lot more innovations that's going to happen over the next few years around containers and service mesh. So these are the three things that I constantly hear on the floor. Yeah, that, that's incredible insight. So I'd like to switch gears just a little bit. Sure. Uh, ask a, a few fun questions. Yes. Uh, so tell me, what, what's an app that you can't live without? Considering all the work that you do, <laughs> I'm not going to allow you to say yeah. Outlook. <laughs> Excel. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. right. As, as a product manager, right, I, I'm constantly playing with numbers and solutions. So that's one of the apps. It's not the only app, but that's definitely, I, I, I can't leave, uh, live without. So. Yes, uh, you, one of the themes that we're definitely hearing is just a Microsoft app in general. Role, yes, right? that suite, uh, uh, the office suite yeah. is definitely still there, Crucial. the number one, absolutely. Yes. Uh, what would you say is the coolest uh, technology that you have in your office? Sure, so I think um, it demonstrates our customer first mentality, but uh, we have integrated our customer support systems with our uh, messaging and collaboration apps. So if a customer support case is filed, and if there are critical cases that are being filed, we automatically get notified. The teams, the critical teams get notified on their messaging system, on their phones, on their emails simultaneously. Right. And that's an internal integration that we have built as to inter interconnecting multiple applications into a truly, um, uh, an experience that we can deliver to in terms of the responsiveness to the customers. Oh, that makes so, that's, so much that's, sense. That's really cool. Um, what do you do when you're not working? <laughs> is that a thing? Yeah, that, yes, yeah. Uh, yes and no. Well, I'm always, you're always working, right, in yeah. this day and age. But I love biking. So on the weekends, I, we go on 20, 30 mile bike rides uh, uh, okay. and on the trail. So that's what I, I do on my feet. So. And uh, as we wrap up here, Ashish, tell me, uh, you know, people are watching and they're thinking, I would love to be in your position one day. Uh, what advice do you have for them? Sure. Um, <laughs> what I mean by that is, um, as a vendor or as, as anybody in the industry, uh, listen to your customers, whether internal customers or external customers. See what the problems are, see what the challenges are, before you actually offer a solution. And because when you, when you listen to the problems and then you can design a disruptive solution, that's what's going to make an impact, right? Don't make an incremental change. Try to make a disruptive change. Yes, of course, you have to remember about there's always cost to change. People are going to be resistant to change. So keep that in mind about the migration costs. But when you develop a solution, go with a disruptive mindset. And Ooh, that's, like that's, that. that's really cool. That's, that's what gets you to the next level. Those are great words to wrap up on. Thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you for and the opportunity. Yes. And thank you all for joining. Stay tuned for more coming right at you from the Microsoft Ignite Conference.